Recycling is a great way to reduce trash, but some trash issues require a transformational solution. That's where human ingenuity comes in. Skydiver and base jumper Jeb Corliss took a trip out to the desert where some incredibly creative individuals solved a major problem in a way that will not only inspire you, but will also surprise you. The Mojave Desert. Nearly 50,000 square miles stretching across four states. It feels like the middle of nowhere. Somehow, we even managed to trash this place. I'm here at the third annual Mint 400 Desert Cleanup. Usually, these guys are out there racing through the desert. But today, with the help of Republic Services, 500 people have come out to help clean up the desert. We wanted to do something impactful and show the off-road world is actually part of the solution, not the problem. With all of this equipment, how much trash do you really think we're going to pick up today? Probably be close to 30 tons, if not more, just today. Wow. It's unbelievable how many people are gathered out here to pick up trash. Here we go. Are you ready to pick up some trash? Yeah. Yes. How about you? Yeah. Rock on, guys. Matt and Josh are the owners of the Mint 400 race, and they're eager to show off the cleanup it inspired. Come out in the desert with us and kind of see what we're dealing with. So right. let's go do it. The Mint 400 race course is actually a 100-mile loop that stretches 50 miles out into these McCullough Mountains. And so what happens is we come out here to race every year, and there's just garbage all over this part of the race course. Right. And that doesn't look like nature if you're just surrounded by a bunch of garbage. No. Yeah. Why don't we join their crew and give them a hand? <laughs> what have you guys been getting so far? Random drywall, wood. Looks like there's a washing machine and stuff over here. At first glance, you look around, and you think, oh, it looks pretty clean. But then we got out there, and we actually started picking up trash. I, I think this was a wash machine. This is like an old cooler, paint can. Is this a toilet? They hit it with a bomb? Check your email real right. quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is an incredibly rich and diverse ecosystem. We feel like it's our job to protect it and to keep it clean. Um, I guess this is a propane tank that's been shot by what looks like the entire military. It was a cool feeling to see so many people who actually want to do something to help. It's obvious that everyone here has a special connection with this place. I never would have expected the desert could be so beautiful, but I still don't think I'm seeing the land the same way as these off-roaders. And there's only one way to fix that. I think this is what it's all about for these guys. These guys love off-roading. They love going out into the wilderness and seeing things, being part of nature in their way. This is one of the things I think is important about outdoor activities because you protect what you love. So if you get them to love nature, then they will grow up to want to protect it. To see all of these people with all of their trucks going out there and bringing all of this stuff in, I would never have believed if I hadn't seen it myself. Now I started realizing, wow, there are huge pieces of trash out here, like refrigerators and washing machines and cars literal cars, and you're like. Lots of stuff out there, huh? Crazy amounts of stuff. So we just jump up there and start throwing it in? Yeah, we'll throw it in. We'll try and uh, segregate a little bit of the metal, right? Okay. We'll throw that in the box. Ready? One, two, three. Go. Perfect. So the trash we're going to take to our landfill. You want to see how that works? Yes. Let's go. Welcome to Apex Landfill. This okay. is where all the trash comes. How big a space does this landfill actually cover? Almost 2,200 acres. Wow. This is one of the largest landfills in North America, and we have about a 400-year capacity. 400 years? Years. All right, so you know all that trash we picked up today? Yes. That comes right here. And then we'll have a big compactor run over it and pack it all down. Once we're done, we're going to bury it with dirt. Okay. And then as that waste breaks down, it's going to turn into gas. We then take it to the power plant. And it powers the equivalent of 11,000 homes in Southern Nevada. Really? So yeah. you can power 11,000 homes with the trash that you get from those homes? Exactly. That's incredible. I had no idea. It's amazing all this junk is going to be processed into something that will benefit everyone. All because a community came together and took the action needed to protect something they love. 
If this experience has taught me anything, it's that if everyone does a little bit to help, we can change the face of the earth.